Hello everyone, welcome to JS and RS solution. In this tutorial, I will show you how to automatically calculate land surface temperature in uh, QGIS uh, using a simple plugin called uh, RS and JS. With just a few clicks, uh, you, you can stream it LST from satellite imagery. I will also demonstrate how to download satellite images from uh, USGS Art Explorer ensuring uh, you have the right data for your analysis i hope um, you find this tutorial useful and enjoyable um, let's get started first open uh, qgs and then just go to um, plugins manage and install plugins and here um, in search just write rs and gis click on here and then just install plugin click here and plugin you can see over here plugin has been installed yes rs and gis and then close and after that you can see over here the plugin rs and gis and then uh, double click on this plugin and you will find the plugin interface here you can see raw data input and several other options and uh, supports uh, you can see over here the data uh, that support in this plugin landsat 8 uh, sensor level 1 data landsat 7 landsat 5 uh, sensor level 1 data, Landsat 4, Landsat 5, uh, Landsat 1, 2, 3, uh, that uh, level 1 data. And here you can see also note, select all the required bands along with the uh, metadata file and also other nodes uh, here. And now I will show uh, how you can download uh, the data from USGS Earth Explorer. Just go to USGS Earth Explorer and then log in. First, uh, you have to select the location. So you can see here the data level 1 data for sensor and for cloud coverage. You can uh, select uh, cloud coverage uh, here. So first, uh, address. You can write the name of your location or you can uh, directly go to a location from here and just select draw polygon and uh, for example I need the data for this location date range I'm selecting uh, cloud cover, cloud cover range uh, 0 to 5 percent and then data sets and here uh, land set, select land set and then uh, land set collection 2 level 1 data as the plugin requires a sensor level on data you can see here. and. Uh, just click here and check this one land set uh, yes uh, and you can see uh, the other options additional criteria just select uh, satellite 8 and then click here results you will find several images just uh, click here and then you can find the location you can see over here the uh, file metadata the information detail information about uh, land cloud cover and click on download and you will see here option product options and uh, you can uh, click here for downloading data uh, is downloading yes download has been completed 
I just cut and paste into my folder. And after that, uh, I am extracting the data. Extract wall. Extract. Yes, it's ongoing and yeah it's done you can see uh, here the data the image is now uh, op open the origin js plugin and raw data input extracted files and click here lst and then uh, just click browse and go to the extracted file folder just select all the uh, file from here and then open and select uh, start processing click here and you can see yes process uh, completed just click here outputs folder and you can see uh, band 10 and band 11 now uh, I'm adding band 10 in QGS just right click and go to properties and then just render type single band and in interpolation i'm selecting uh, discrete color ramp you can select any color ramp from here all color ramps uh, i'm selecting uh, this one turbo for uh, visualization and mode inter equal interval and uh, mm, classes i'm keeping it uh, seven classes and click apply and then yes you can see here you can change uh, the color from here okay you can see here the range uh, land sa uh, land set uh, temperature land surface temperature uh, the blue color uh, is the lowest one and you can see here this color the highest uh, land set temperature yes and uh, if you want to uh, add or if you want to process in ArcGIS then just add the file raster file and then you can see the highest and lowest uh, temperature and uh, just go to properties and then layer properties color change the color apply okay you can see here the LST highest and lowest temperature uh, the highest temperature is the red color you can see here and uh, if I add my uh, area of interest my study region I will extract uh, my area of interest from the uh, Bangladesh chef file here is my study area I just want to uh, extract this yes my study area has been extracted the shape file and uh, now we'll mask as per my study area for that go to our toolbox and then specialized tools and then extraction and extract by mask 
and input raster will be uh, export uh, no 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 uh, the mm, yes the file lst file and then input raster or feature max data will be export output i mean my area of interest and uh, just go to environments and processing extent will be mm, the area of interest and uh, then raster analysis masked mask data uh, will be my area of interest so i'm selecting that export and output edit yes here is the extracted file just go to properties and then uh, color ramp it can change the color ramp from here i'm selecting this color ramp and apply ok yes you can uh, check uh, using identifier tool the temperature the highest temperature maybe yes the 27 Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my effort and my videos, uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Take care and stay healthy.